What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking all about chapter 4 in the Road to the Labyrinth of Legends and we're going to be answering some questions about uh, how difficult it is and are you ready to take on the Road to the Labyrinth uh, and kind of where it lies in the spectrum of the game and then we're going to be talking about uh, the various fights and setups and all that kind of stuff but first I want to answer the question uh, you know am I ready for the Labyrinth of Legends? Where does it lie in terms of progression and in my my opinion uh the most difficult like a tier of content if we go to the ladder the very hardest thing at the moment is of course the labyrinth of legends and then i'd say the road to the labyrinth uh lies directly under it uh, which is pretty convenient, you know, because it's a road to it. And then Act 4, 100% is probably under that. And then Realm of Legends, and then Act 4 for the first time. So in the spectrum of the end game, I think if you haven't yet fully done 100% Act 4, um, you should probably focus on doing that before this, because that's slightly easier in comparison, although it's a lot longer. But for this Chapter 4... Uh, the things that you really need, you need to be very, very good at the game. You need to uh, know how to fight certain enemies and uh, how to fight unstunnable nodes quite well. So if you've got a lot of experience in Alliance War, that's going to help you out greatly. But also for a few of the fights, you are going to need some very specific champions. And those two specific champions happen to be either an Awakened Scarlet Witch or a Black Widow at Jupe level 99. And we'll talk about those fights in a little bit more detail when we get into the Chapter 4 breakdown. Um, but those two champions are really reliant because there are some really, really BS fights, guys. There are some really, really bad fights. Uh, in some of the later rounds, like an all-or-nothing Wolverine uh, that just is insanely stacked and has regeneration and is also unstunnable. So, like, the pretty much only tactic is to use a duplicated Scarlet Witch or Black Widow to bypass that. Um, there are possible some other ways that you could get lucky, but those are, like, the, the two main ones. Uh, but in Substitute of a Black Widow, a Crossbones will also work, and that's what I had to use because I didn't have a dupe Black Widow, but just to kind of like set some realistic expectations, guys, if you go into Chapter 4 without a duped uh, Scarlet Witch or, you know, a Black Widow or Crossbones that's quite stacked, you are probably going to have a really, really bad time. Like, it is possible in some ways, but you are going to have a really bad time. You're going to waste so many units, and some of the fights are going to frustrate you to no end. So, just wanted to clearly lay down expectations there. And also something that is uh, quite helpful to have, um, especially in some of the later rounds is a uh a really stacked Captain America, and that's important, but I feel like between those three champions, Captain America, Scarlet Witch, and either a Crossbones or Black Widow, you're pretty much sorted. Like, it's a, it's a pretty good setup and will work very well. So let's actually uh, now talk about the setup that I used. I'll just quickly show you guys. So this is my setup. Got a 550 Scarlet Witch, just to give you idea, an idea as well, guys. If you're new to the channel, if you just come to this, I did uh, uh, the Road to Labyrinth Chapter 4 a couple of days ago for the first time um, I managed to do it in about two and a half hours with this team, so it went incredibly, incredibly well in comparison to some of the uh, the runs that I've seen, and I did make a lot of the mistakes in the streams and videos on demand. If you want to see me going through all of the chapters, will be in the description below, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. So this is the team, dupe level, uh, what is it, 79, 550 Scarlet Witch, a little bit overkill. You could definitely do it with a 441, and on a lot of fights, even a freestyle one, I believe would work i just had a lot of overkill for this if you have the patience and skill uh i think it is possible to do it with a free star scarlet witch so you know if you're really good at the game don't let that uh you know not having a four star awakened scarlet witch put you off uh also we have the captain america world war ii who was, who was pretty good. Very, very good for the Rhino in, uh, what was it, 4.5. Incredibly great champion for that. Very, very good fight as well, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, now, I've got Vision and Falcon. So Vision and Falcon actually were for mainly the crit synergy bonuses. So with this team of uh, Scarlet Witch, Captain America, Vision, Falcon, and Crossbones, uh, I actually have a total of four crit nodes, which gives me plus 27% 20 uh, crit chance, which is amazing for both the Scarlet Witch and Crossbones. So yeah, it's a it's a pretty good kind of like middle, middle ground team, I'd say mid-range. You have a lot of different stuff that you can do with it because it makes Scarlet Witch and Crossbones 
Crossbones, both really viable champions to play. Uh, and again, Falcon is literally just there for Chris and Jeez. But we had a pretty epic ending to my uh, Road to the Labyrinth run, where we took down the last uh, Thanos with uh, the Free Star Falcon, which was just so, so jokes. That fight was 100% skill-based. Love it. Such a great fight. And then finally, we have uh, the, uh, the Four Star Crossbones, who again was kind of the substitute for Black Widow. As he builds up Stacks of Fury, he can bypass defensive ability accuracy, um, which is uh, really, really helpful for fighting stuff like Abomination and Electro, champions that, you know, deal a reliable amount of damage back. You can actually bypass that by playing very aggressively. It's a little bit difficult to do and not entirely consistent because you do take a little bit of damage at the start, but it is a way to do it. It is a way to do it. So let's uh, now go into this document, guys, which I'm going to share with you all um, in the description of this video. Uh, it's going to be the essential opponent list. So this was created by, I believe, an alliance called Regal Empire, from what I can gather, and a guy called OG Wolf. So thank you very much, dude, for your contribution to the community. This is a really, really great resource for doing the Labyrinth. So basically, when you open up this document, you're going to see in every uh, chapter, it basically has a list of the opponents and it's going to tell you their nodes and highlight the ones that you maybe need to take into consideration when building your team for that chapter. Again, I, I kind of went with a team that worked for every chapter uh, quite well, um, but it's going to highlight the stuff that might potentially be a bit of a problem, right? So if we look at chapter four, round one, we look at Black Panther Civil War and see that that champion is immune to the effects of stun. So it's something, you know, that you need to, you need to keep in mind. You need a champion that can counter that, but to be honest when fighting a civil war black panther like he's pretty much stunning me in any way if you stun him with his armor up it's going to be reflected so you need to go in with that uh preference so chapter one round one was actually quite easy so what i use for civil war black panther i use crossbones you're also going to see another one of these later and that worked really really well also, all the champions in this chapter have spiked armor, so you either want to use a Crossbones uh, or Black Widow or Scarlet Witch to bypass that. So spiked armor, basically, um, uh, what it does is when you land a crit on the champion, it uh, re increases their physical resistance by a certain amount, by 20% for 5 seconds, and reflects 6% of their, their attack as physical damage uh, dealt back to the opponent when you attack them. So you even need Scarlet Witch nullifying this pretty quickly, or a Crossbones or Black Widow to bypass it, and that's quite important. Or the alternative option is, you know, spend a lot of money on opponent potions and revives. So that's something to bear in mind. And then we look at uh, the additional fights. Magneto, Unblockable Special 1, Unblockable Special 2. Wasn't too much of a problem. Face roll, that was Scarlet Witch. Pretty much the, the next three fights, uh, Magneto, Vision, Black Bolt, and 4. Face roll with Scarlet Witch, like easy. Venom Paul uh, worked pretty well with Scarlet Witch. You need to be aware that he's stun immune though, but it still uh, it still was the best option there. And then we've got Spider-Man Classic and Nightcrawler. So those ones are a little bit annoying to fight because um, what they have is they have uh, enhanced ability trigger, which means their evade is going to trigger 20% more often. So they're a little bit annoying to fight, but I think the best way to go about fighting either of those again is to either use your dupe level 99 Black Widow or Crossbones, or use Scarlet Witch and parry and then free attacks and then just parry again. So only attacking into them while they're stunned unless you can really slow down your combat and react to that evade. So that would be uh, my piece of personal advice there. Again, I didn't have too much trouble with the Scarlet Witch. Now we're looking on chapter four, round two. So I guess the the the, the kind of overarching um, what is it buff of this one is safeguard, which prevents champions from losing more than one percent health from a single source. Uh, again, Crossbones and Black Widow can bypass Safeguard uh, straight up, so that's really, really good for this. Uh, Crossbones, if you can play really, really well, guys, I think for most of the, the fights in this chapter, like Crossbones or Black Widow is going to be your best option. Um, so Abomination, we use the Crossbones. Took a little bit of poison damage, but managed to kill him. Uh, Rocket Raccoon, what did we use here? I think we used, um, I think we just used Captain America, actually, because the Captain America World War II was really good for this fight, uh, because 
Uh, he has that bleed on the level 2 and bleeds and debuffs over time. Also help bypass the safeguard. So that was pretty good. On the Rocket Raccoon, the best tip I can give you guys is just he's got an enhanced special one. So he's going to be using that very, very aggressively. Just bait that. Just uh, keep on baiting that and uh, slide back. Avoid that because Rocket Raccoon's level 2, unless you're really, really good at evading, is slightly annoying to play around. Uh, and the next fight was a Stun Immune Black Widow. It's a little bit annoying, but to be honest, when you're fighting Black Widow, again, most of the time, you're treating her as if she's stun immune, because if, especially if she's dupe level 99, she's going to ignore your parries most of the time. So that wasn't too bad. I think you used Scarlet Witch there just for the regen, but it's all about just baiting those level 1 attacks and also, you know, baiting the heavy attacks and then attacking into her. Uh, then we have Old Man Logan with increased power gain. Again, not too much of a problem. One thing as well that you need, do need to bear in mind throughout all of the chapters is that all of the champions do have their sp third specials active, so you do need to be aware of that and play around that by baiting level 1 and level 2 attacks. So Old Man Logan, yeah, wasn't too much of an issue. Electro, uh, we had to use the crossbones, and I think we had to revive uh, once to kill him. So yeah, that was a, a little bit annoying. Um, has also unblockable special one. With the special one, you just need to kind of make sure you've already got a little bit of distance uh, when he triggers it, because he won't, he'll trigger it when you're a little bit away. Uh, and you do have the option of baiting that, and then just swipe back to make sure you are well out of the way of Electro's level one, because it's difficult to fully evade that because it's got like three tiers to it and three components so it's a little bit annoying and then we have the next one which is uh juggernaut with unblockable special one and two not too bad not too bad pretty easy to deal with uh providing you know you're used to fighting juggernaut and alliance war uh, so yeah, I just, I try to bait the level 2s as often as possible because I find those a lot easier to avoid than the level 1. But the level 1 is slightly delayed, so you need to be aware of that if you want to evade that. Then you've got a stun immune Groot, which, um, if you're used to fighting Groot, is, uh, is quite easy to deal with. Um, you just, the key to fighting Groot really is just bait those heavy attacks and bait the special one. Never let Groot get to the special two or you're going to be a little bit wrecked. And then we have Thanos, uh, as the final boss. This Thanos is really easy, just has safeguard, but doesn't really have anything apart from he's stacked. And if he, uh, hits you with a blocked attack, um, you know, he's going to generate power from that. But he's not stun immune, so he's quite easy to fight there. So, chapter four, round three. There are some there are some BS fights in this one. Some really, really fight, uh, fights that'll make you salty. And that's mainly the Iron Patriot and Doctor Strange. So, they have this node called All or Nothing. So, if you've played a lot of Alliance War, you'll be very familiar with this node. So, this champion will basically store power and not use their level one or level two. Only use their level three attack. So, that sucks. Like, the way that you play around that is basically uh, using Scarlet Witch. Like, that is the way. There is there is such a huge amount of increased power gain in this chapter, especially with the spite. So, basically, if you have a buff um, on you at any time, uh, the opponent's going to get f uh, power flood, so their power's going to go up, like, quite a bit. I think it's about 16% every second. Doesn't really feel that fast, though. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's really, it's really, really annoying. It's really annoying to play around with. Uh, again, uh, some people have reported using Vision, but I just see, I don't really get how Vision would work on this. Maybe if you had Vision on a power gain team, like, that might be enough to, uh, consistently drain the power, but especially when it comes to Doctor Strange, like, that is gonna be difficult, because you have to play very aggressively, you know, uh, Doctor Strange doesn't gain power, off being hit or taking damage, gains it passively over time. So that is really, really annoying. Really, Scarlet Witch, guys, she's the key to victory in this chapter. She's very, very important. Even a three-star one, I don't really see being a problem because there isn't, like, any insane regen you have to deal with in this chapter. Uh, so Iron Patriot and Doctor Strange are really your problem areas. A lot of people report having quite a bit of trouble with the Red Hulk as well. He is quite a beast of a champion, very, very stacked in terms of PI, so he's going to take you a little while to kill. I tried doing Red Hulk with a crossbones, and I got wrecked so quickly with the spike node. But it might be might be possible with the Black Widow, but especially when it comes to the Doctor Strange and Iron Patriot, you know? You 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 need a Scarlet Witch, or either... It's either a Scarlet Witch or a lot of revives, guys, in my opinion. Or... 
being really, really good and using vision. So it's kind of my uh, my input on that chapter. I do not like the design of the, the all or nothing node. It's just, it's so bad. It's such a terrible design. There's like no skill involved in it. It's just getting lucky with those power drains and power locks and Scarlet Witch. Like, again, such, such a bad node in my opinion. But now let's go on to... Uh, Chapter 4, Round 4, which is where the, the problems start coming out. There are some really annoying ones on this, and some people have reported that this, for them, is the worst chapter. And I think if you don't have a Scarlet Witch, like, this chapter, man, is, like, close to impossible or really, really annoying. Just purely for the Wolverine, man. So lucky that if you have a dupe Scarlet Witch, you can smoke this Wolverine. If you don't, you're going to have a lot of problems. So let's look at the, uh, it's got the spiked armor one, so that's the, uh, the global node from the first chapter. So you're going to be, um, you, you even need a way to bypass that or nullify it. And, uh, let's look at some of the champions. So Kamala Khan is pretty easy, you can roll through her. Punisher is annoying, you need to kill him very, very quickly as Starburst, so that means you're going to suffer degeneration proportionate to this champion's missing health. So yeah, that's really bad and spiked armor, so you're going to be taking a lot of damage and even more damage as it goes over time. So again guys, Scarlet Witch is the key, probably going to say that like a hundred times in this video, but like as much as it sucks and as much as people hate on Scarlet Witch and like Scarlet Witch no skill, she is like the only way to do like most of these fights without spending an absolute ton of units. But yeah, uh, Superior Iron Man, this one isn't isn't too bad he's he, he takes a little bit of time to fight because you're not going to be able to nullify a lot of his armor ups because they have an 80 percent chance to fail and his armor up abilities are 40 percent more effective that fight is just long and then you've got the war machine who's pretty easy the scarlet witch uh the next one's pretty easy if you get her into a stun lock and if you get lucky didn't have too much trouble with this one uh but again very much like the realm of legends one it's just all about being lucky and also kind of um yeah play, being lucky with the procs and we got yellow jacket with an enhanced special one and special one bias so that's all about being able to evade yellow jackets level one if you can do that quite well you're not gonna have too many problems there and then we get on to the really annoying part of this chapter so stun immune all or nothing spiked armor wolverine so Wolverine regens an insane, insane amount, which means for this fight, I believe the only two possible ways that you can kill it are a dupe Scarlet Witch or a, uh, a dupe Black Widow that's dupe level 99, because you even need to be able to totally negate that regen uh, or, you know, be constantly dispelling that regen and locking the power of the Scarlet Witch. So, yeah, this guy is just an absolute bitch. So many people have a lot of problems with him. So you just got to play really, really well. The only way, again, to land a hit on him, because he is an all-or-nothing Wolverine, is bait those heavy attacks. So you're going to be taking a little bit of damage on the Scarlet Witch. So that's something you do need to bear in mind. It's going to be it's going to be an annoying fight. But I managed to get it down, and I believe it was the first try, but I got quite lucky with the power lock. So that was really good. But he heals for a ridiculous amount per second when he's on like two bars of power. It was like 800. So even if you did have a champion like a Star Lord, it, I don't believe it would work because, you know, he's got an all or nothing node. So by the time, you know, the fight is over, it has like an enraged timer unless you can deal with that power. So, yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to deal enough damage, but with Black Widow and a lot of revives, you can keep on, keep on going, get through that, but that's going to be probably the main annoyance for a lot of people. Uh, so, Chapter 4, Round 5, the first fight is incredible. It's an undebuffable Rhino, um, which I find a lot of fun to fight. See, I did not want a Captain America here. It's all about kind of staying in close quarters with this Rhino, quickly evading his special attacks and baiting those heavy attacks. And if you can do that, it's a it's a really fun fight. It's entirely skill based on your Captain America. Uh, you again, you want to stay very close to the Rhino. You don't want to allow him to charge because if you do, he's probably gonna um, was it charge through your block and you're gonna get smacked. So again, it's all about staying up in his face. But again, if you do want to see me fight him, check out the live stream demand. 
uh, video. Then we have a guillotine, pretty easy to deal with. Uh, all champions in this chapter as well have safeguard, which uh, is a little bit, a little bit annoying. Superior Iron Man, uh, again, two great ways to deal with this: Scarlet Witch or Black Widow or Crossbones, Venom. Uh, what's, uh, Venom, yeah, Venom was so easy, same with Daredevil as well, and Storm, you just need to be aware of the nodes, guys, just use this little guide, uh, before kind of, like, every chapter, and have a little bit of a read, uh, exactly what you're facing, and you should be fine. Uh, then you've got Ultron, so this Ultron, pretty annoying to fight, he's kind of like a, an Ultron that you fight in Alliance War, so if you fought him a, a, lot, a lot as a boss, you're gonna have a good time. Uh, but he's immune to the effects of stun, so this means that, you, again, you even need Scarlet Witch to nullify it, or just uh, an insane amount of skill to bypass that. Um, so yeah, the best uh, kind of line of play here when fighting an unstunnable Ultron is to evade those level 1 attacks. If you can do that very, very well, and just get the hits in, that's going to work very well for you. Although the power gain by 200% means his power goes up so quickly, so it's a little bit, a little bit tricky to fight this guy. It took me about 3 or 4 attempts. But we got there eventually with the Scarlet Witch. I played pretty bad though, guys. I was on, on tilt um, when I was fighting that guy. I, I don't remember what got me on tilt. I think this was actually when I started tilting, fighting the Ultron, because I was just messing up. And then this Nightcrawler. This Nightcrawler has Safeguard, right? So he's going to take quite a few hits to defeat because he's only... Uh, you know, taking, uh, can't take more than 1% health from any source, um, and his evade is going to trigger 20% more often. Again, you want to play, play this fight very, very slowly, ideally with either a Scarlet Witch, but again, if you do have a Jeep level 99 Black Widow, going to work very well, but it's just all about, ideally, um, either playing slow or parrying, doing free hits, and then just rinsing and repeating that constantly while, you know, baiting specials in the occasional heavy attack. So I think that's the uh, probably the best line of play to do. Just play, play slowly when it comes to that. And then we have the final round, which is full of tons of really, really fun fights. You've got a superior Iron Man uh, who has spiked armor. Again, like Scarlet Witch is your key here, very similar to the one in the previous chapter, just a little bit longer. A bit more of a stacked abomination, which uh, has poison abilities and more effective. And that poison lasts, you know, uh, twice as long. Plus safeguard, so you want a duped Black Widow or Crossbones here, guys. There's no exception. And then finally, you have a power gain Cyclops. Quite easy to deal with. This guy was not an issue at all. If you're used to fighting Cyclops in Alliance Quest, you're going to have a good time. And then you have Rocket Raccoon, uh, Safeguard, and also... Um, Unblockable special ones and twos. Again, the key guys, bait those special ones is probably the best way to do that. Then you have a stun immune venom pool, again from the first chapter. So if you didn't have any problem fighting him then, you're probably not going to have any problem fighting him now. Uh, again, a very similar Black Panther as well from one of the uh, the predecessing chapters, a stun immune. So providing that you got that on lockdown on the first chapter, you're not going to have too much issue there. Uh, and then you have the Scarlet Witch. This is a really stacked Scarlet Witch, and who has spiked. Um, all buffs of this champion last 30% longer and more crit rate. This was really annoying for me. I was so tilted by this fight, just because I went in, and when fighting a dupe Scarlet Witch, uh, you have the chance to get a stacks of poison, and I was doing Scarlet Witch versus Scarlet Witch, and like every fight, I just got like so, so many stacks of poison, and it sucked. It sucked so bad. Um... So yeah, I did not did not enjoy that fight at all. Uh, but you know, Crossbones is potentially a good option if you can aggressively evade those level 1s and 2s. And in hindsight, probably something that I should have used because Crossbone uh, doesn't crit. He does not crit at all. So that is potentially a pl way to play around that. But you also need to be aware of the spike node that she's going to gain a little bit of power. Uh, well, actually quite a bit of power constantly. So you're going to have to be very aggressive at baiting those, uh, baiting those specials. And then finally, you have... Thanos, the final Thanos, uh, great, such a, a, an amazingly designed fight. So immune to detrimental status effects. So, you know, the way, uh, the only way that you're going to land hits is either by baiting a heavy attack or by evading the special one and two. And also, while he is um, striking a blocking target, he's gaining power. 
So yeah, the key is all about, on the final Thanos, knowing how to evade his specials. And again, I do highly suggest watching the stream, uh, especially the end of it, guys, because we got him down with a three-star Falcon after like 100 hits on the last 12,000. So that was some pretty good examples of how to, you know, bait his level one and two. It's just all about, they're, they're both two-part components, so it's just all about the timing and getting that nailed. And you, you can have a good time. I really enjoyed fighting the final Thanos. It was a really good fight. Uh, but again, the fights that I really didn't like are the All or Nothing Wolverine. I think the All or Nothing node in general is just not a fun node in my opinion. It's just not a good node and I'm not really too keen on Spite, but uh, I'm a little bit better at playing around it now. Overall, guys, Chapter 4, it's got a lot of meat to it. There are some fights that are some premium tier BS and there are some fights that are really good. But overall, it's quite a fun experience. I really enjoyed it. Uh, anyway, guys, this has been a really long video guide. I didn't expect to talk about the fights in this much depth, but I hope that it has given you the insight and knowledge you need uh, to jump into Chapter 4 and absolutely nail this. Again, the links to everything and all the resources will be in the description below. If you've got this far and enjoyed the video guide, guys, please give it a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.